from the ashes of the old world and the shadows of the last great war. The world was shattered by magic. Plains became deserts. Mountains crumbled into the sea. Witches and heretics are burned in the street, lined with oathbreakers hung by their necks. Where once was law, order, empire, now only hardship and savagery remain. To the east, in Highport, a weary king rules an ungrateful people. To the west, his brother keeps swords sheathed and words of rebellion at bay. To the north and south, Savage elves and cowardly dwarves openly practice arcane arts, shrouded by leaf and stone. In a time when a man's worth is measured by his word, when might makes right, and a quick death is a mercy, only those more foolish than brave venture far from home. The age of peace and prosperity has ended. In its place, only strife. I mean, uh, I'm getting this. I'm getting this unusual sense of deja vu. I I just just love playing this game, like every day. It seems. Yeah. So, yeah. was it like uh moving to the new <laughs> kitchen? <laughs> Yeah, it does look like a pretty nice kitchen back there. I think oh, my mom would be jealous. Ah, uh, well, it's a, a pretty decent kitchen. Apparently, my audio was muted and not going out to stream, but that's been fixed now. Um, <laughs> We're doing well here. You know, <laughs> it's the first stream since I've moved. Clearly, there's a few technical issues that need to be ironed out. Um, I spent the majority of yesterday running around the house, moving computers and routers and bridges around trying to find the optimal place to work from and uh you know it'll resolve itself it's just going to take a week or so to get out all the little details worked out and uh so it's going to be a fun day today stream wise uh yeah, yeah when, I, when, when I, I i can't believe that you've got internet on so so soon like i i organized my internet a month before i moved in no, two months before I moved in, and it took three and a half months afterwards before I got internet put on. Good so, lord. That's, I know. Yeah. It, it was I was insane if I didn't have internet for three and a uh, half months. I, 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 was, I, was, I was pissed. I, yeah. <laughs> very, very pissed. <laughs> and then you realize just how powerless you are when you're one person. <laughs> like, oh, we're back in the Stone Ages, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> I remember um, my current flatmate when I wasn't living with him. He had no internet for ages, and like he just called out to me, like, "Can I bring my computer to your house and host a LAN party at your house, or just my parents' house down the road?" I was like, "Sure." And then like the week after, he got his internet, so it, it was a good fix for him. But like I moved straight, <laughs> into, straight into a building that was already set up, so I didn't have the mm. problem. In fact, on the day I moved in, I had my usual D and D game. Nice. Well, um, internet issues or non-issues for us aside, how have you guys been in the last three days? One, two, Hot. yeah, three days. Hot. It's not snowing there? Could have sworn it was <laughs> snowing there. Uh, yeah, it actually is there. I don't know how you know that. <laughs> quite white outside. Wow. Um, I did have a final yesterday. That was fun. I had one. Actually, I have one later today. I have a class that's super late. <laughs> Are you going to be prepared for your final today? Yeah, it'll be fun. I'm unstable. We're all so unstable. Nice, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The internet is just unstable. I, I think I, I'm just cursed for bad internet. Some people are technologically cursed and things just break around them. Nothing breaks around me except for the internet, which just kind of <laughs> sputters along. Um I, I mean, I used to think that happened to me too, but since I moved up here, the internet's actually been really good. Mm, lovely. It's, it's usually in West Virginia, the internet is 
<laughs> literally like Ghana levels of internet. <laughs> it's really bad. Your, your statement that we are unstable is a sign of good mental health there. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, I've got my last training session for the year, so I'm pretty happy about that. And then I won't be training again until about the 13th or so. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Fantastic. Um, so why don't we uh, talk about what happened in the world as a whole while you guys were gone on your little adventure last time? And let's also figure out what day we're playing on. I think you guys got back on the 14th or 15th. Um, and was anyone wounded? Do we need to do some R&R &R to bring your HP back um, up? I'm still down two hit points. So yeah, I'll need another day. Okay, so why don't yeah, we just pick up on Saturday the 17th? That gives you guys a, a day of rest and healing and then maybe a day of... You know, debriefing friends and servants and that sort of thing to, to see how everything is. Um, there has not been any word yet from Kel Reginald. Uh, he showed up and he went off saying that he'd be back in about a week. Uh, it's not quite been a week yet and he hasn't shown up. So I guess nothing to worry about there, probably. Oh, yeah, it's fine, right? Um, oh, Lord. Um, On the other side of things, though, word has arrived from the front. Uh, last week, we had heard that the Black Guard, who has been sent to the, the western part of the kingdom to deal with the orcs and give the westerners some breathing room, had pushed into the, the forest over there to kind of not just repel the orcs, but hunt them down and push them all the way back. Well, it's been almost a week since they went into the forest, and no one has heard from them since. Hmm, I feel like uh, those sort of army people are meant to have regular sort of message runners, so that's a big deal, isn't it? Yeah, there ought to be message runners. Um, scouts, messengers, uh, any, any sort of really, you know, there's communication usually, and supply lines, um, but no word has come out of the forest since the, the troops went in. Now, that just might be that they're doing so well, they're overextending their lines and pushing the orcs back farther than they can send messengers back. Or it could be any other number of interesting issues. Uh, but that's the word from the front. Internet issues. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Black Guard's internet not doing too hot right now. No. just The trees are blocking all the Wi-Fi signals. Um... <laughs> So, let's uh, check in with you guys. What are you up to around your house? Ooh, that's a good question. So, um, um, I'll be tending to the wounded, which is the donkey and Stefan. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let's see. I might, I might be interested in talking to our father about what he knows about Nixon and uh, the time he went with uh, Kel Reginald. Which we can do as a party. Yeah. So your father Oof. doesn't have too much to say about him. He says that Kel Reginald was one of the men under his command and had his own little group of soldiers under him. Um, he fought well during Nixon, but he was wounded. Uh, and of course, the whole Nixon assault was a, an utter failure and totally collapsed. Um... And so, you know, Reginald was wounded, some of his men were wounded or killed, and eventually everyone fell back and retreated, and your father lost sight of him and never saw him again. Why did it fail? Why did the war fail? Uh, well, you had an insufficient number of soldiers to take over Nixon, combined with them not really being prepared for the monsters within, kind of expecting to fight people or... Elves or something like that that had a little bit more organization to them. When these strange mutants start pouring out of everywhere, people were terrified. Uh, also, they had unusual methods of attack. You know, it's not just sword and shield, but they have claws, or some of them had hooks that could grab onto your equipment, or tentacles that could, like, go underneath your shield and grab you by the legs. Oh, it was a, a messy engagement, and the troops were not prepared for it. The enemies were far more numerous than they expected and it was also like city fighting and so they would go past a building and creatures would slither out of it afterwards um the whole thing was botched and uh, a lot of good people died 
So they, when they say monsters, they're not kidding. There's like actual weird things, not like humanoids. Uh, they are humanoids, but there's also like weird humanoids. These are deformed creatures. They might have tentacles for legs and, uh, you know, wolf paws for arms and a, a human's head that's part fish-like. And then, like, a gill on one side. All right. Uh, yeah. Mm. They're, they're definitely monsters. Um, I think I'd probably ask William about this, and I'd, I'd say, you never thought about just burning it all down? Can't burn down stone buildings. Well, you got a good point there. Yeah. Also, half the city, well, most of the city is on the other side of the river. We didn't quite make it that far. Yeah. Did you not have siege equipment, possibly? Well, it wasn't a matter of siege equipment. You know, there were no walls oh, on yes, this side. You could have taken down the buildings before you went in. I guess we could have sat around for a couple of months, Made them slowly bombarding everything. But it would have taken a long time, probably God, months or years, to just level an entire city that way. Father, a lot of resources. Are you suggesting that the army was lost on the western side of the river? Yeah. That's interesting. We were told that's a pretty safe side of the of next to explore. Uh, it is these days, but ten years ago, not so much. Mm. It's probably in part because of the siege that all the monsters stay on the other side now. Uh, hmm. We lost a lot, but you know, we certainly took a few of them with us. You've, you've been there since, Father, haven't you? You, you, you were last there before getting blinded. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How dangerous are they? Those critters? Oh. Depends. Some of them are seem fairly harmless. Other ones will rip your throat out. But so they worth a soldier, or some of them are could be worth a soldier. Some of them uh, might take four or five men to bring down. So there's a pretty you, high variance among them. You went there alone, right? Well, I did, but I'm a little. It's a lot easier for one person to make it through a city undetected than it is for a whole troop of soldiers. So, while you were alone, you weren't specifically looking for the monsters, right? Just the treasures. I was hoping to avoid the monsters. Yeah. So, if we were to do the same sort of thing, how would you say is the best way to avoid the monsters but still, you know, get around Nixon? I... Well, sweetie, that takes a lot of training. You know, it's like saying, how do you best ride a horse? You just practice. You know? <laughs> All right. I, I might be able to do that. I don't know about these two, but <laughs> I have a bit of a light step. Well, you might also be able to rule a kingdom, but that doesn't mean you should just give it a shot. Well, yes, it's just an idea in case things get desperate. Well, do remember what happens if you die. Ginger inherits the, the family. Oh. I'm sure you'd be in good hands. <laughs> Quite. You'd certainly be three barrels of uh, ale, Richer. <sighs> yes, possibly. <clears> hmm. <throat> so, what shall we do? All right. So you guys are breaking up and kind of sitting around, uh, probably having your breakfast that the servants are bringing. When news arrives via one of the servants who was down at the market that uh, a child is missing in the north part of the town. If we take a look at the map, you over here over you yeah you hear over breakfast that um, a child and a few other people have gone missing in this uh, northern section near where the wall is collapsed. 
Uh, uh, the word on everyone's let... lips are goblins must have snuck in through the walls at night and snatched the child. <laughs> oh dear, there's no wall now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Just one child? Uh, it appears that a child and his babysitter, his nurse, has gone missing. Peasants? Yes. Is the wall being rebuilt? No. No, they're just... <laughs> There's no just money to rebuild the wall. As we all know, Wadsworth has no income. Yeah, except all these rich nobles sitting down here and just ignoring the wall. <laughs> it's not their problem yet. We should rename the town to Wadsworth. Wadsworth. <laughs> Oh, what's worthless? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, so, um, we did uh, fight some goblins. They're not too difficult. They do have the, the tactics of sneaking upon us in the marsh. Uh, yes, it's. I'm sure we'd encounter them in stronger numbers if they'd been brought back to a camp. But, but then again, we don't know anything about what happened, really. They could have just left on their own. Hmm. I mean, let's face it, this is not the first time this has happened, because I mean, we'll tie. So... Oh, yeah. 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 You know what? Just, just let them let them live with the goblins. We can go we can go, um... You know what? I was thinking about the the pirate's treasure over the Tuk 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 Mountains. That's certainly well, an interesting idea. The if it's there, the the problem I see is obviously the mountains. But yes, they are a pretty big problem, sister. Well, do we know what's in the mountains? I I'm up to date on my. Mountain, I suppose. I believe uh, Joseph said that they they shot up from some sort of magical situation. Mm hmm. Oh yes, I. Now I remember this. Oh. <laughs> and I don't know about going into those mountains right now. I, I seem to remember rumors about griffins. Yes, it is well known that griffins do live in the Tuk Tuk Mountains. Uh, how big's a griffin? Can we bring one down? About the size of a horse. And it flies. Yeah, maybe a little Ooh. bigger than a horse because it's got the wings. It's griffin. probably worth something, right? I mean, it's it's, it's a big bird. How how could that be the kill? <laughs> That's kind of like saying dragons are big lizards. <laughs> I don't know. I, it's certainly better than the shade wood. I'll give you that. No, don't don't say that. Don't say shade whatever. <laughs> yeah, I, see, oh, I, see I was the one that was assaulted by a. By the way, at, at this was... point, at this point, I bring uh, Luther a cup of tea. <laughs> I don't think I like tea anymore. <laughs> uh, 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 look, I, I don't know what what happened there, but uh, a man in the forest, the only you saw, offering you tea. I'm Obviously, you think I don't know what else to say. It, it, anyway, it doesn't matter at this point. As long as we're not going back there for the near future. I, I, I agreed. I agreed. I mean, we, we, we could, maybe it's settled down a little bit so we can go back to the mausoleum and see if they've um, if it's just as unguarded as it was before. Although, I don't really want to face more things which rise from the dead. Hmm. Not too bad. Was it wasn't too bad. Things rising from the dead. I mean, if this is what the zombies in the swamps are like, I'm never going in the swamps. Hmm. Uh, I, I don't like the swamps anyway. The 
just hard to, to get around. So if we, if we were low on money, then the grave robbing worked. It just um, let's not go messing around with any more of those dead ones, you know, the ones that look like they've been alive just a few seconds ago. I look at Luther. Zombies in the swamp speaks I mean, up uh, your uncle, whose name I'm blanking on right now. Joseph. Joseph, thank you very much. Joseph, zombies in the swamp, yeah. You know, uh, rumor is it that there were some zombies spotted down in the Meadowlands recently, too. In the Meadowlands? Yeah. Where would they have come mm -hmm. from, I say, with, <laughs> with an inkling in my mind? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, what happened, Joseph? Uncle? Uh, Rose Bloom. Apparently, a, a couple of zombies were spotted running through town. Killed a few people. Where was it Kel Reginald went? Um, into the Meadowlands, right? Mm hmm. To find Ronald? I think he was going to go pick up Ronald and his younger brother. Ronald is in Darbloon. Correct. Uh, to be honest, I don't keep track of these uh, things. I, uh, I, I seem to remember that being correct. I think I, okay. all these villages they blend together. But Ronald himself doesn't uh, keep track of those things. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> well, it, it might be something worth investigating. Go to Darbloon, see if Ronald's been picked up. But it hasn't been a week yet, but it seems like. It's a long time to be gone. It's just going we'll, probably just miss him. we'll probably just miss him on the way back, and quite frankly, traveling with Ronald. Probably, but while we're there, we could check up on the zombies and see if there's something to be dealt with. Uncle, how, what did, did the report say? How many peasants were killed? If or it, how the zombie was brought down? Six or seven? I don't know. A handful of peasants. It was brought, eventually brought down by the uh, the one of the knights that lives there, one of a uh, Lady Condi Wyatt's retainers. Uh, Did they say how they came to be? The Wyatt family. Well, you know how you know how zombies are, strange creations of magic, and those long dead. So you don't know them? Well, if if I'm correct in my assumption, I think the zombie may have come from the crypt we were in. Or it certainly seems that way. It seems too much of a coincidence, doesn't it? You let a zombie out of the crypt? Oh, well, we don't know for sure, but... No, I... I, I... I, sure I think my brother. I, I think my brother is mistaken. But uh, while we fought the undead, we did say them all. I'm sure this is unrelated to, to us. Unless, brother, you're saying that we're responsible for the deaths of seven or eight people. Your father speaks up, saying, "Kids, I thought I told you to take responsibility for your actions. If you're going to be dealing with the things in the crypt that go bump in the night, you should do your best to avoid causing civilian casualties." Well, that's why I suggested going back down there and dealing with it. And anyway, what's a few peasants dying? Us? No, you true. should be more careful. We were peasants once, you know. Just because we can now stand above them doesn't mean we should walk all over them. Well, I, I certainly don't mean to walk all over them. It's just... Sometimes lives are lost. You have to break a few eggs to make an omelette. Sometimes I regret not raising you on a farm. To lay claim that you raised anyone would be a um, uh, well. Say it. Come on. Well, let's just say there's a reason I'm still wielding these short swords. Remember the the, the day you said that, hey, when you're ordered, you'll, I'll teach you the, the, the arming sword and one day you'll pass it on to me? Yeah, when you've grown up, I'll teach you how to use a real man's sword. As long it, as you continue it, with this childish bullshit, Stefan, you'll be using childish swords for the rest of your life. 
Why are you so concerned about the size of your swords anyway? Well, oh, I'm not, I, I, I think I, we all know I, why I'm... he's concerned about the size of his sword. <laughs> <laughs> I, I certainly wasn't implying that, but... Look, we need to stay together in these times. It's, it's, in a, it's an age of strife we live in. We need to, we need to band together. It's certainly a difficult I, time. I'd appreciate certainly. less um, dissent, to be honest, but sometimes dissent is what's needed. Well, shall I go prepare old Doris and we'll head on through Darbloom to Rosebloom and, you know, help the, the peasants with their problem? Well, the peasants are already buried. They've dealt with the issue. If, 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 if the zombie got out and, and the, uh, the Wyatts took it down... Uh, we could, if they know it came from, from the crypt, we could take revenge on the undead in there for them. Make sure nothing like that ever happens again. Uh, I think I, I think it would be far better if we uh, were not attached to, 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 to it in any way and just we could just go back and do the same thing. Uh, yeah, that works as well. That, yes, it does. Um, they could have someone guarding the crypt if they suspect it was broken into, but, well... Well, that we do need to check up on. You are, you're quite correct. I, I can't see any anybody wanting to... I yes. think they want to forget this very quickly, I, I would imagine, and uh, go back to their pitiful lives as normal. I apologize, Father. I wasn't paying attention. Where where was Cal Reginald going again? After picking up Ronald? I think he was going to pick up his younger brother, whose name... We never got his name. Albert? No, we... Almond? Alfie? Definitely starts with an A. Mm. Well, where was where is that? Where, I... One of the southern villages. And uh, did Kel Reginald tell you that uh, where to squire his younger brother? I believe one of the servants told me. I'd, yes, things seem to be slipping my mind a lot recently, Father. I apologize. Would you you like have the memory, but not the ferocity, of one of those carp in the river. <laughs> well, I'm glad I have a brain much bigger than those carp. Mm. Speaking of those carp, is, are people still finding carp with gems? In them? Mm, oh, that might I... just be a, a rumor. I think that's an old wives' tale. Mm. Magic well, maybe, fish maybe. filled with gems? Come on now. Well, well, maybe people just. Uh... There was a, a wreck of something with gems on it, and there were a bunch of gems sitting around on the bottom of the river. You know, it's no, quite but... possible, or eat the carp ate a person who had gems on them, but what I wouldn't if... count on that as a treasure source. What if, like, a fisher or a a fishmonger just spreads a rumor that he found gems in just to promote their store or business. Your sister's a smart one. Well, I just think about the the other things that people lie about. Mm-hmm. Like sword length? <laughs> like taking responsibility for seeing things through? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave now. I'll take my tea with me. Uh, you head outside to go fix up Doris. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm gonna leave as well, Neil. Um, uh, how long's it been since the Giants? Ooh, about a week or so. No, a little more than a. The Giants showed up on. Yeah, I think it's actually been eight days. Okay, I think it's still too early to progress with the sheriff. I think I might wait uh, until a fortnight has passed. So I'm not going to... I don't really have anything I, I want to do specifically. All right. So, Ginger, you're outside uh, visiting with Doris. You're trying to, what, just patch her up, make sure that she's healthy and all that jazz? Doris is healthy. Spike needs uh, attending. He's on uh, six points of damage. Oh, God. <laughs> so 10 HP. And, oh, that's uh, right. Doris is dead. Yeah, so it's Doris yeah. too. Doris too. Doris. That's right, Doris right. <laughs> <laughs> Who's um, much bigger. 
<laughs> and uh, so I'm gonna pack up the the tent and and the, my spears on Spike. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna go find who who is it? It's one of our servants or people, um, Isabel or Sarah. Sure. Um, you find Sarah uh, out near Doris in the back. Um, but you also hear a kind of a, a familiar sound. Yeah, hear the sound of... Is that music? Singing? It seems to be coming from the temple. Um, just maybe the, the choir practicing. But it is a familiar song. Oh, I hope it isn't the sound, the song I heard from the Shadewood. And I, I'll go up to... Oh, is it Sarah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, and just ask her. So, um, missing child in the north. When was that re- reported? I just heard the servant saying something about it over dinner today, uh, breakfast this morning. Okay. If if another one goes missing, I'll look into it. Um, that's some some interesting singing going on. Is that from the temple? Yeah, I think it's choir practice time. How many people are in this choir? Oh, I don't know. I haven't poked my head in yet. Yeah, it sounds really familiar. She shrugs and goes about helping you with Doris. New Doris and old Spike. Um, I'm going unless to there's anything... To... No, go ahead. I'm going to try to memorize the melody. All right. In, in real life as well. <laughs> um, cool. So back inside with everyone else. Uh, what are you guys doing? Just kind of waiting around until the yeah. donkeys are prepared and then heading yeah, off? I guess Luther's gone up to his room. He's getting his armor on. Is it still cold? It is getting on towards winter. Um, winter solstice his... is in just over a week. Okay. Yeah, he gets his black wool cloak then, too. Okay. Um, I'm going to go and uh, uh, find Luther. Okay. Or eventually, I'm guessing. Sure. Uh, brother, we uh, didn't actually make a decision as to what we're going to be doing next. Yes, it seemed as if we were about to head out with no plan. Um, yes. Well... I suppose we head to Darbloon, just look around, make sure Ronald's gone, maybe talk to a few people about the zombie, and if there's no reward out for the undead of the crypt or anything like that, I suppose we just sneak up to it again and get our looting on. However, to get the information, surely that would uh, that know that in our presence in Rosebloom, uh, that might limit our ability to, uh, to yes. deal and you get away right. with anonymous. You may be right. But then again, if they don't have concrete proof of us doing this, what can they do to us? No, oh, absolutely nothing. We are. But, the rumor. but the rumors spread fast. You have a point. I, uh, especially since we have uh, the rumors are that we are defiling crypts and stealing the the, the valuables of ladies. <laughs> Actually, I think I might already have that reputation. But um, uh, regardless, uh, perhaps we should explore the the village. I I did have something I wanted to. Well, okay, because we could always call past Rosebloom then, and we can just keep on traveling south for good reason. We can go check out the village, and then maybe on the way back we can call in and and, and uh, uh, explore the mausoleum. Maybe. I did have something I wanted people's opinions about. I'm still not sure about what to do with it. Um, if it's about necklace, magic, then no. No, it is about magic. Uh, that necklace we looted from the crypt. Mm-hmm. I, I have this... It seems... I don't know. I just have this feeling that it might be magical. We know that... Have you heard about that sword? And I don't know what... I don't remember what pub it was in, but 
It's the magical sword. In the temple, no, I've, I've seen it a time or time or two. Doesn't look My special. assumption is that other items can be magical like that, and this is such a wonderful necklace, and it was buried in that crypt with the perfectly preserved woman. I, It just seems suspicious. Well, if I, you want to look as beautiful as her in death, then feel free to put it on. I mean, uh, yeah, you, you know what we could do? Well, that's, that's why I'm asking. I, I'm okay. worried to put it on. Here's what we do. It's, it's, it's our sister's birthday coming up. So we can just put it on, uh, give it to her as a gift and allow her to wear it. And if it's magical, then we just watch her carefully. If she turns into a demon or, or goes crazy or goes blind, then we know it's magical. Yeah, I, yes, but that certainly seems like a bit of a risk, doesn't it? We've already hey, you're, the, brother, you're, the, you're the one who sees the benefit of, of magic, not, not us. Look, if it's magical, right on. if it's magical, then get rid of it. I, I do like the idea of giving it to Ginger, so I think maybe I, I should try it on, and if nothing happens, then we can give it to her. Look, I'm sure the color will bring out your eyes, brother, but if that's magical, get rid of it. I mean, I'm you, not getting rid of it, even if it is some kind of dastardly necklace. Why Actually, not? I, just, just stay here. Let, let me get it out. And I, I open my chest in my room and I pull out the necklace that I had. Mm-hmm. Right very, very nice and neat. And I put it around my neck. Okay, you now have a beautiful necklace hanging from your neck. Wonderful. I was so hoping you'd say it's a cursed uh, amulet of strangulation, do but, I, you know. <laughs> do I look different? It, yeah. It don't you, feel different. Look, you, you got a necklace your, your around your neck. Pop. Yeah. Uh, yes. Well, I, ha I have been told that I'm quite the good-looking man. Well, anyway. O only from your mirror. Well. Do hey. you guys give this to your sister? Uh, it's not her it's, birthday yet. It's so. not her birthday yet. I so store is it magical? Do you, do you feel different, brother? I do you feel like you want to take over the world and drop mountains on the heads of, heads of Wadsworth? I don't think so. I, I think I feel the same. It is a wonderful necklace, though. I wonder if Ginger will appreciate its beauty. I think she will, though. I get the feeling she'd prefer a nice sword or a spear, yeah, rather. I, I got that idea as well. But she has thousands of spears already. I don't know what else we could get her. That's the thing. Like Once you start collecting, it, it's, it's like shoes you know the noble ladies start collecting shoes and they can't stop does she just have spears in her closet is i haven't looked recently I, I i haven't been there since i was a little boy yeah neither have i but, well mm. when i was a little boy she wasn't alive i take that back <laughs> i do remember hiding there and then and, 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 and watching but that time is gone but yes. hmm. oh. <laughs> I suppose she's probably ready. I guess we should head down. Well, I'd actually, just on that, what should we get our sister for her birthday? The necklace, I, I mean, suppose. Okay, we, we gotta do that. I'm, I'm, uh, yes. I guess Joseph hasn't found out whether it's too recognizable or not. Uh, he he hasn't that, found though. any record of this necklace in any of the books uh, around. So there, there's nothing in literature about it. Um, he suggests maybe giving your uh, your wife and your cousin some time to maybe ask around, um, see if anyone. That's uh, Joseph. I told you that would be suspicious. I I don't know. Well, how... if you're gonna wear it out, I mean. Yes, you have a point. Nah, uh, we'll we'll figure it out later. I'll... Well, let's get out of here. I mean, it's a beautiful piece of artwork. I mean. What could go wrong? And we can just say that we we bought it from some trader. Or yes, or yes, that's a good point actually. Or just found it lying around somewhere, not in the crypt. Yeah, of course. not in the crypt. Yes, we didn't Sorry. we didn't take it from the neck of a dead lady that we then decapitated. No, not at all. That that might just color its um its reputation. It's but, a 
You might depreciate the value of the necklace okay. a bit. By this time, your sister's done with everything, and she comes back into the room. Yep. Yeah, so we, where should we go? I'm, I'm thinking we head south. We, we uh, call in past, see what's happening with the zombie thing. I head down further south to the uh, to the village, um, the abandoned village. And then on the way back, uh, maybe we can hit the crypts again if we don't have any currency coming through. Yes, I think I think if we just ask about the zombies and not about we don't mention the crypt, the there won't be any suspicion on us. Yes, I mean, just on that, brother, you, again, you showed in front of father, you just... I believe father worked. knew we went to the crypt anyway. Yes, but he had obviously hadn't put two, the two and two together. He's not that smart. <laughs> well, you know? And, and to, unless you just point it out to him so it's, he can see it in the open, although he can't do that anymore. But, <laughs> aren't, you, aren't you meant to be the leader? Where's your, where's your gravitas? You know, where, where? fun. I am supposed to be the leader, and you're not showing much respect to people these days. Are you okay? Me? It's it's just Stefan being Stefan. It's been this way forever. I believe I'm showing a great deal of respect. I'm I'm showing the respect to somebody who just blurted everything out to father. He's our father. Mm-hmm. He's not going to sell us out to the sheriff. Yes, that doesn't mean you go and tell everybody what happens. I mean, do you, do you have any idea about the politicking of nobility? I What's trust my father with my life. Well, obviously, why don't you go tell him that you're thinking about learning magic? How about <laughs> I go out and tell him now? Uh, oh, so now you don't want to tell everything. Yeah, I see, brother. I, I, I could tell him, I suppose, but I, I think it's best left until it becomes an actual possibility. You know, when it's too late. That's right. Exactly right, sister. So, um, the, Just like uh, collecting too many shoes. What's shoes got to do with anything? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. We were talking no, about we, the... We were talking about fashion things. earlier. Yes. Oh. oh. All right. Oh, uh, well, yes. um... Actually, he, actually, no, Nufa did ask me to, to, to see how, how the dress that he just bought looked on him. So, you know, I, saw, I thought it brought out his eyes. Yeah, see, well, as you know, I'm a fashionable man. As long as it's uh, family colors, you know, nice deep red. Of course. <laughs> um, you know the, the village that's abandoned down there? We, we could easily encounter some elves. So I'm going to walk, walk to Stefan for your advice. What, what do you think we, we do when we meet elves? Obviously, they, they like to shoot first, so we've got our shields up for that. Well, I think the issue is more so that the first that we'll know of them is when the first volley of arrows come, just like the the, the five peasants that were taken. Um, and then as we uh, turn or as we react, the second volley would already be there. That would be my assessment of the situation. And then we would be dead. Elves, <laughs> like no, no. coming around in trees, don't they? There is a big difference from us and peasants, you see. Peasants have not got armor and shields. You're right. Three arrows, and we'll be in that same position. <laughs> I, I, I do have some concern about the elves. I, I, my assumption is they like to, you know, climb around in trees and shoot They're like monkey people. How will we? It it seems as if they would just be shooting at us without any chance of us actually harming them. Yes, perhaps you should learn that before you decide to want to set up trade routes with the, with the elves and before you uh, want to learn their language so you can learn the secrets of magic. <laughs> perhaps you can consider the fact that they are just savage and need to die. I wouldn't say they're savage. Well, well anyway. I, I suggest that uh, if we're going to find that village, as soon as we find it, we start, you know, rushing through it picking up anything of value and getting out before the elves notice we're even close to their territory. I, father, him talking about what he did in Nixon, the sneaking around, avoiding monsters, I I could do that in the village. I could sneak in on my own. I hope the elves don't notice me well, there. Well, you, you would, we would need to be close enough so that we could give quick assistance. Possibly. Because uh, if, if they can do to us what they did to those peasants, 
you would you would be dead in, well instantly upon discovery. Not if they don't discover me. Well, we'll figure it out when we get there. I think it, if once we have a look at the village, it'll be easier to decide what to do. We can get to the three mile point and then make a decision from there. But we, I mean, we've got to find the village as well. Can we do anything to, to track down its location a little bit more? Uh, Neil, just yes. on that, the, 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 the map, how, how, how um, accurate was the uh, location of the village on the map? Not very. If we take a look at the map, the location is marked here. But it's just, you know, a spot on the map. Uh, you don't know if it's actually in that exact spot, and much, you know, the, the map doesn't have, it's not perfectly to scale, right? It's a hand-drawn thing, so <laughs> maps like this are all kind of sort of accurate so, uh, without Stefan, Google Maps, you know. It would be easier to locate this, m this lost village by asking people who live closer to it. Hey, that, that that could be true. We could also oh. ask the old timers. Uh, we could also ask Joseph where he got the information from, because maybe there's an older map which actually does have the location in the right place. Yeah, did, did Joseph tell us how long it's been abandoned? He said it was abandoned during the war. So okay, so not too long. Still, yeah. still, there's probably people alive that live there, possibly, or are they? Yeah. Also yeah, especially if it was abandoned. Yeah, and they and they probably wouldn't have moved. They they, they, they probably wouldn't have moved far away because they're peasants. They don't, they don't, they don't have the know, right instead to of the elf thing, we could try to do something where the danger is something we can see by the lake. Oh it's well, um, about yeah. So we village. head on we head on south, and we we ask about the the, the more specific location of that missing village. And then we could head straight to the lake. We could do that. How, how do you feel about that, Stefan? Uh, if we if we do try and do both, then that's twenty. Uh, what's that? that is, that's about 25, 20, 20, 25 miles to go from finding out the information to traveling to the lake. Yeah, but uh, once we find the information, we can make a better decision once we get there. Ah, uh, as to which way we go, sister. I see. Yeah. I, I still think that's a, that's a bit of a commitment. It's going to be, it, it, it's going to be the same distance to get well, to the village as it is to get to Lake Do you, Lake you so see money on this map anywhere? Because I money? don't. You know, just no. money lying around. You know. Well, well, sister, I, I believe you're trying to get some sass in there. Yeah. Nice, nice work. I see your point. I acknowledge it. And the, but that's why we need to be efficient because we have no guarantees. So rather than just spending days and days and days trekking, we want to be spending days and days looting. Mm. Okay. Well, I, I I think I like the idea of the lake because at least we can see what's going to kill us before it happens. Gee, you know. your leadership is 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 inspiring and reassuring at the same time, brother. I'm glad you think so. I do my best. Uh, speaking uh, of long journeys, I suppose we need rations. Is that correct? Yes, yeah. I believe that. I believe that you, as the chief bottle washing quartermaster, uh, can 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 organize that for us. I Maybe you could bring a barrel. Of this family. Well, yes, that's that's the burdens of leadership. That's they that's what you delegate, don't they? No, not at all. You have to be the servant to, to, to show your true leadership style. I see. Yeah, that, that's very, very clear. Oh. <laughs> the journey is about, what is it, 50 miles both ways if we go to the lake? If we go to the lake, I believe it would be about, uh, well, following the river and cutting down straight through the Nixon. Oh, we could also check out the Nixon while we're down there. Mm, yeah, I'm not sure all of these. Go straight from there. Let's go. Go on a rampage throughout the countryside. Rampage? Like not giants. <laughs> so 22, so it is 26 miles or so. How about this? We don't know how long we're going to be gone. I think this might be a good time to just stock up on dry rations, like I was saying, saying before, a few days ago. 
you know, yeah. we, we, we are not a warehouse. We, we don't need to get too much provisions. And oh, yes. Not not too many, just enough. I mean, uh, th th that has the wisdom of, of giving away three barrels of ale for no guarantee of, of, of return. I will continue to give away barrels of ale to these centaurs until we are the best of friends. Well, in that case, we get a lot of gold because you're blowing through our gold very quickly. Uh, we, we have some items that we can sell. We, we're good for a month anyway. I think we'll be fine. We, okay. Oh. All right, so is the plan then to, to go through Rose Bloom and just find out what their attitude is and also if they're going to the mausoleum? Chuck and uh, chuck a left and head east to Nixon uh, to check that out, and then head south further down to Lake Warren. Yeah, yes, I, I'd say think of this as at the least a scouting mission, just seeing what's up at all these locations, making making sure we know what the dangers are. So we we we, we are adventurers, we are explorers. I've always wanted to be an explorer. Right. It's easy enough to stock up on the things that you need, uh, whatever it is that you wanted, pack up your mules, and head southward out of town. Uh, as you guys exit your house, the brothers also hear the familiar chanting coming from behind them from the, the main temple in town. <laughs> it's just a little bit faint, but you can hear it as you set out on your journey. And what with you that, familiar? Luther gets some chills as he hears that. Stefan, yeah, the, the song they're singing in the temple, it sounds to me just like the song I heard in the, in the woods. Okay, I'm going to immediately uh, head towards the temple um, and, and approach. All right, well, we'll deal with that on the other side of our break. So see mm -hmm. you guys in a few minutes. Bye-bye. <laughs>